Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. I'm at Ananda in the Himalayas. Yep, I'm in India. If you want to hear more about my experience, I'll slide the card in up there. Um, but the one thing that Ananda offers all their guests when they come to this destination spa is extra activities. And you've got from group yoga to working out, you've got for dancer talks, but you also have the option to learn how to cook some healthy cuisine in the kitchen with Chef Dombaka. All right, so Chef is going to talk us through what I'm going to learn to cook today. Is it all Ayurvedic cuisine? the people who come here on wellness programs. For them, it's all Ayurvedic dosa based cuisine. I'm on the wellness program. I am a Vata Pitta. And I have to say the food, Chef, the food I have eaten over the past. I've been here for five days. I'm here for 14 days. <laughs> and I mean, you can't get sick of your food. And for me, it's been predominantly vegetarian, which I'm not. Um, but back in London, I can do one day meat free. Here, I'm on day five and it's easy because of you. You know, your food is, is beautiful. So what are we learning today? We are doing the vegetable curry. Uh, it's a coconut and vegetable based curry which is flavored with curry leaves and turmeric. I want to go home and take something new and introduce something new to them that's healthy, light, but good for them. And you're at the right place to do that. Yeah, I <laughs> certainly <laughs> am. All right, let's get started. Certainly. Uh, so here we have coconut oil, mustard seeds, curry leaves, chopped onions, cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, beans, lemon, turmeric, green peas, boiled potato, coconut milk, tomatoes, black pepper, salt. Uh, pan on slow flame and with this dish we are going to cook in coconut oil. And now we are going to add mustard seeds to it. So if they pop, then they are not going to taste bitter, but they will impart a beautiful mustard flavor to the dish. So now, after the mustard seeds are popped, we are going to add chopped onions. Just to cook them a bit, so that the raw flavor goes away. And at this step, uh, we are going to add few curry leaves in, in there as well. So just few curry leaves. Mm -hmm. So now, I am going to add a little turmeric. And now I'm going to add vegetables to it in the dish in order of their hardness. So we'll put the carrots first. So after carrots, uh, now I'm going to other, uh, add other vegetables. So we have some green beans here, mm -hmm. a few pieces of broccoli, a few pieces of cauliflower, uh, some green peas. I'm going to add a little salt here. Oh, I can smell it. I wish they could. I wish you all could smell what I like smell right now. Now, uh, I have some diced boiled potatoes. So just a few pieces of potatoes. So after that, a little vegetable stock to it. Oh, homemade vegetable stock. Mm -hmm. Cook it covered uh, for 2 minutes. So all the vegetables, potatoes are cooked and all the flavors just come together. For my paleo people out there, could they do cauliflower rice with this? If it's cauliflower rice, why not? Yeah. Uh, so now I have added a uh, few slices of tomatoes in here. I'm adding a little more vegetable stock. And now I'm going to add the coconut milk. looking good. And I'm going to finish it uh, with a little lemon juice. Uh, check the seasoning in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's done. If you'd like to see my full experience, I'll slide the card in so you can have a look. Don't forget, I make videos about paleo beauty and lifestyle. And if you pop over to Instagram, I do. You see me dance every now and then. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give me the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.